Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I've had a few of you guys reach out to me and request a video of disassembling the new Charles Daly N4S G2 12 gauge bullpup shotgun here. So we're gonna do that today. This is the Charles Daly N4S G2. How to disassemble, clean and reassemble. Yes! Today we're going to be cleaning the Charles Daly N4S G2. I know I haven't put that many shells through this thing yet. I put about, I think maybe about 100 to 150 shells through this shotgun uh, so far. If you guys have seen my previous video of testing out this gun, um, you'll know that it did have a few misfeeds uh, during the test. And so I mentioned during that video that I wanted to disassemble it and sort of just clean it up real quick and see if that helps with the misfeed issues there. It should be pretty simple according to the manual, but it's gonna be my first time disassembling this thing, so bear with me and we'll figure this out. All right then, so let's move on to the disassembly. So the first thing we wanna do is remove the charging handle here, this nut, and the flash hider. So let's go ahead with that. We'll remove the flash hider here, okay. We'll go ahead and remove this nut here as well in the front and the charging handle. The charging handle, uh, you might have to, depending on how tight it is, you might have to grab some pliers for it just to pull it out. But it comes out, just pull straight out just like that. So we've gone ahead and removed the flash hider, the forward nut, and the charging handle now. They also say that we need to put uh, this cheek riser all the way up. So we'll go ahead and do that. This one is fairly easy. There's a screw and a bolt over here. So that comes out and that comes all the way up like that. Actually, we can just remove the whole thing there as well. So it's just, so it's just a screw a bolt and then the cheek riser goes all the way out. Um, the manual says you don't have to take it completely out. You can just put it all the way up. We just need enough room for this part here to be able to pop out. The next thing is we just have to punch out these two bolts right there. So you got one bolt right here, okay? And then in the front, you've got another bolt right there. And all we gotta do is basically just punch those bolts out. So I've got a screwdriver, you can put, use a bolt punch or whatever else. So that just comes out like that. And we'll do the same thing on the back side. Okay, so as soon as we've got the receiver pins, by the way, the receiver pins here, the two receiver pins, um, they don't come completely out. So they'll just be sticking out like this all the way. As soon as we got that done, we should just be able to pull forward and separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. So grab the barrel and there we go. So now we've got the upper and the lower separated right here. All right, now that we've got the upper receiver and the lower separated, we're gonna slide this case off just like that. Lay that down there for now. Oh, wow, 100 and, uh, 150 shells. Got it fairly dirty right there, hey? Okay guys, well, full disclosure. So when I took the case off, off of the barrel here, 
what was supposed to happen was these pistons were supposed to still be on the barrel. So what happened was these pistons right here, rather than coming off with the barrel when I pulled it off, it actually got stuck inside there. So I had to fidget around with it a little bit and uh, finally was able to take the pistons off over here. I just took a like a little punch and then I managed to be able to punch it out. And uh, so yeah, so now we've got the barrel separated here. Obviously what we're gonna wanna do is remove these pistons and this is gonna be, like these pistons are pretty much the heart and soul of your gun, right? And look how dirty these things are right there. So, and that, that was only after about 150 shells. So it's no wonder that it got stuck in that case. So we're gonna give these pistons a really good cleaning today. The next thing that you wanna do, well, in the manual actually, it says that there's supposed to be a bolt over here supposed to be a bolt right there but as you guys can see there's no bolt there and then there was supposed to be a like a little wrench that comes with this gun when you get it and then you remove that bolt with that wrench and then that's when you can take off this rear rear case right here and then you can expose your bolt assembly and everything else but on this one as you guys can see that doesn't exist so give me a second here and we're gonna have to figure out how to get this back case off because it's different from what it says in the instruction manual for some reason. I got a feeling that it might be either this this bolt right here or this bolt on the side right there. So we've got this Allen key here that came with the gun. We're gonna go ahead and remove this little bolt just on the bottom. That bolt right there, that's just on the bottom right there. Okay, so looks like we we're right. All right, so now that we've got here the barrel and then you've got your bolt right here, all we got to do to take out the bolt is slide this, pull it apart, slide, slide that back a little bit and the bolt just pops right out. It catches right on that groove right there, so you can see. So you just slide it, take the bolt right out and now this slides slides right off the front of the barrel there now and you guys can see that there is a lot of gunk and dirt all over there so we're going to give that a really good cleaning and then clean the inside of the barrel there as well okay that's it that's how you disassemble this gun guys um, so like I said I'm going to go ahead now and clean all these parts up really really well get them all oiled up nice and uh, then we'll go ahead and put it back together. All right, so now that we've done a good cleaning on all of the parts here, now it's time to put everything back together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and slide this action lever back on, onto the spring there. We'll pull it all the way to the back. We're basically just gonna reverse reverse engineer everything that we did to take the gun apart, right? So we'll slide that all the way to the back, make sure we've got the spring loaded there a little bit so we can put the bolt in place. And that just comes together just like that. Now that we've got the action lever and the bolt onto the barrel, we'll put on that rear casing. We'll just basically just slides in there and you remember we had that little bolt to hold it in place with the allen screw that the gun comes with so we'll just screw that back in there make sure that's nice and tight oh and actually I've, I missed a spot over here doing my clean okay now that that's together there it's time to put our pistons back in. So make sure we slide them back in in the proper order here. So we'll go with the first one. One and two. And make sure we're, that you're, we're sliding them in the proper way as well. So it's very good to make sure that we kept track of that during uh, the disassembly portion. We don't want it getting stuck again like it did during the uh, 
to disassemble so we want to make sure that that is nice and oiled up in there so we'll do spray of some rem oil there we go and then finally third and last piston goes in just like that okay now that that's all put together in the proper order we are going to slide it back in to the case it seems like it's pretty tight in there which is why the piston that one piston got stuck in the first place so we'll see if we can get it in there nice now might need to uh, down on it a bit. <clears throat> there we go. Now it is back in and that just now it's just gonna slide in together like that. Okay so there we go there is our upper. Now we can put this nut back in. Go this way Go ahead and we'll tighten that. The flash hider. We'll go ahead and put that on, screw that on. Okay, so there it is guys. There's basically the upper portion of the gun. All reassembled. Now to put it back onto the lower all we got to do is slider back in. There we go. Then remember the pins. We just put those uh, receiver pins back in. Make sure it's nice and tight. The next thing is the charging handle. We'll put that back in there. Make sure that's nice and tight. And there it is. Give it a couple goes. So there it is. That is the uh, complete disassembly uh, cleanup and reassembly of the Charles Daly. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a thumbs up. Check out the rest of my channel content as well and see if you like the rest of my content. And if you do, um, I would highly appreciate it if you guys consider hitting that subscribe button as well and that bell notification icon so you guys can stay tuned for future videos. That's going to do it for today and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.